Hi, today we're going to be taking a look at the inventory or out of stock report. It's a very typical type of report, uh, very simply laid out here, um, containing a few metrics uh, that we've come across in, in supply chain reporting that are important for different kinds of uh, chains and stores and understanding what products you have in your warehouse. It's a very simple report. Um, so I'll show you some of the ways we've used this to oper operationally track which items have traditionally had high out of stock um, values and what we could do about it on the inventory or warehousing side. So the report is pretty simple. It's composed of a few chains or stores that we have available to us. These are like um, national grocery chains, Trader Joe's, Walmart, Albertson Safeway. Um, these are located in various cities across the country and contain several product classes uh, that we're going to be taking a look at. We're going to adjust the dates here. Uh, basically goes up until uh, March uh, 2020 um, where we had this slight uptick, uh, starting to see a slight uptick in out of stocks as we know because of the uh, onset of the pandemic here. So what is out of stock? Out of stock is, is essentially a percentage uh, value um, that's returned when um, essentially measures the number of times an item or SKU or product category was out of stock on, on a shelf um, over a certain number of days. <coughs> so basically it gives you, um, you know, percent uh, uh, likelihood that you'd find that item on the shelf going to the store. So typically we see things hover around, you know, 5% out of stock is pretty high, 3%. Three, 3%. Some items have higher out of stocks, like 10%. Uh, we'll get to those in a second, but uh, typically you want that number to be as low as possible. Um, so there's a lot of mechanics to keep the shelves, a lot of logistics to keep the shelves full at stores. Um, you know, the store can have inventory, maybe it's not on the shelf. Happens a lot with like yogurt and dairy, you know, on Saturday mornings when, when buying happens. Uh, there's logistics things to keep produce, uh, you know, fresh on the shelf. Um, but typically, we like to report and see what these, uh, what are what are the highest out of stock items, and essentially what we have um, in the warehouse. So we know that if, if we need to increase our ordering or d demand planning. So the way we typically use these reports, so each each sort of dot here is a store and product category, and showing you that for this store on July 7th or July 1st, 2017 in the city of Los Altos and Albertson's uh, Safeway, we basically had a very high out of stock, almost 10%, 0.1046. Um, so very high out of stock uh, percentage there. For you know Ralph's Grocery here, about 6%, getting lower and lower. And this overall trend curve is giving you a sort of average measure of, of the out of stock percentage. The inventory bins here, um, allowing you to see as a function of you know a histogram essentially of your your out of stock components. And most of the time, the average hovering, the median at least, hovering around 0.03. Uh, 0.04. So what we typically like to do is focus in on the high out of stock um, items, and you know down below see uh, essentially what we have in our inventory. Inventory is usually measured. Uh, one of the ways of measuring is in turns. Uh, turns is essentially the dollar amount of inventory over the cost amount of goods that. Um, that you purchased over a given time period. So a turn is essentially a cycle, like how many cycles of inventory uh, do we have, for example, for food category in Albertson Safeway. And for across all of these stores, what we see is that we have essentially average turns there is 0.96. Um, so that means we have like one cycle of food uh, category in Albertson Safeway. Um, food and Ralph's Grocers 0.86, a little bit lower. We kind of want to keep that high. I mean, for perishables, it's hard to keep that, the number of cycles or turns really high, um, right? Uh, but for other things like apparel, for example, if we go over here for Statter Brothers, um, it's it's starting to dip down 0.6. It means, yeah, we're, we're probably seeing a lot of out of stocks because our inventory is just, uh, you know, depleted. Like we have a logistics problem in in, in this case. That's how we use this type of data to sort of see if we need to order more in certain products and certain uh, stores or certain, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 chains of stores. Um, 
and and what changes we have to make on on the logistics sides. Uh, we'll always have you know very high sort of out of stocks uh, given times due to other um, uh, you know market uh, sort of conditions like we've seen now during the pandemic. Uh, but traditionally, monitoring out of stocks and and the amount of inventory you hold is the key to um, minimizing sort of your exposure and warehousing costs and and maximizing your margins across uh, your supply chain business. All right, that's it for now. See you in the next one.